Hey, what's up? Kyle Buckland here with the Artful Souls. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to talk a little bit about this black curtain behind my easel. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, if you've ever seen one of my demonstrations in the studio, or if you've seen a photograph of my studio, you see this large black curtain behind my easel. Uh, a lot of people ask me what that's for. Um, the original reason why I got that is because I wanted something behind my easel uh, to tone down the visual information behind my canvas when I was working. So. Uh, one of the challenges of when you're working outside is that you have all this busy stuff going on, you know, behind the canvas and you have to kind of be selective about what you want to um, uh, paint. So in the studio, I have control over that. So by, by setting up this large black curtain, um, I can minimize the amount of visual information going on behind my painting. Um, these are pretty standard kind of photographer backdrop curtains. You can catch them on Amazon. Uh, with these adjustable stands. They're really nice. This one adjusts up to 10 feet tall um, and I think uh, maybe 15 feet wide or 10 feet wide. Um, but it's a nice, you can adjust them so you can make them whatever size you need for your purpose. Now that was the original reason why I put that back there and it served its purpose very well but I also started realizing there were a lot of other reasons for this curtain. Um, when I want to, to, whenever I go to paint a still life, I can just move my easel back uh, set up the still life in front of the curtain and it makes an instant uh, backdrop so to create a nice contrast for some flowers or some um, dishes or something like that that I'm painting. Um, same thing goes with figures. Uh, so if you want to set up a model in the studio, uh, you don't want a big distracting background behind the model. Um, you want something dark that usually creates some contrast with the figure. Um, so this is a great, um, you know, a great prop for that. You can move it around where it's on the stand. Uh, you can buy different color curtains. So if you want it to have a different color uh, behind the model, um, you can change that very easily. Um, so, you know, this is a, a great reason to have this on hand uh, in the studio and you can move it around for different setups. Um, Another thing you'll notice about it is it's not right up against the wall. So when you put this in your studio, um, if you're working with limited space and you need to store stuff, uh, you can set this curtain about two feet off of the wall and then it creates a nice space behind the curtain for storing paintings, uh, canvases, frames, uh, or whatever, you know, whatever you have around the studio that you want to kind of get out of sight, you can kind of store it back there behind the curtain. So, um, you know, multiple, multiple reasons there that, that this, uh, to have a curtain like this in your studio. Now, another thing it does, and this might not be a big deal for you, and it's uh, you know not terribly important for me, but it is nice because I do rent this studio. Is I don't want to get you know paint all over the walls, um, you know. So I, I tend to be a messy painter, and I sling paint when I'm painting. Um, so by having a, uh, this curtain back behind the easel, you can see some paint splattered on it. If you look closely, uh, it actually catches works as a backstop for all that uh, paint that's flying through the air and keeps it off of the the wall. So I have rugs underneath of my easel where I'm painting, um, and and uh, and you know they're they're for keeping paint off the floor. And then having that curtain back there behind my easel um, keeps the paint off the wall. So. Uh, just another added bonus of having this curtain. Um, you know, is it necessary to have a curtain behind your easel? Certainly not. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just something that I've found to be helpful. And uh, the, the longer I, I use it back there, the more uses I, I come up with for it. So um, I hope this helps and I hope, uh, hope you're getting out and, and painting and enjoying the videos. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can make sure to be, subscribe, you can like the video. Um, if you want to uh, check out my Patreon page, the link is in the description to this video uh, below. You can become a patron for just a dollar a month and help keep these videos free and also get some uh, access to some extra content that's on my Patreon page. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps and I'll see you soon in the next video. What's up everyone? Thanks so much for watching the video. I've got a question for you. Are you ready to take your plein air painting skills to the next level? Well, if so, check out the link in the description below this video to my website, kylebuckland.com, where you can learn more about my in-person workshops. I take small groups out on location to some of my favorite painting spots. I do demos each morning and then have the students paint in the afternoon as I come around and work with you on an individual basis. So this is a great, fun learning experience. All skill levels are welcome, and I would really love to have you join us.